This is the Yale Superior Lock. It's nine dimples on the top, four sliders on the bottom. They have springs and no false gates. Let's get ready to pick. So tension is counterclockwise. I'm using a number six multi-pick. The back pin has a uh, anti-bump driver. That's the one that always binds first in a set. And what I'm doing now is just going through the pin stack, uh, trying to find any binders. There's nine, as I said, nine uh, dimple key pins. So I'm just going back and forth. They're arranged in two rows, uh, and each row is coming in at a different angle. And so I take advantage of both sides of the keyways to try to attack those uh, pins in two directions. Now, we actually have a split screen view here. Uh, on the right is the external view with the camera facing directly at the lock. On the left hand side, there is a camera um, facing from the back of the lock into the keyway. And so on the top, what I'm hitting right now, those are the dimples. And on the bottom, uh, you'll see the sliders. There's four of them. And a little bit later on, you'll see me trying to move them around, trying to get them into their gates. Unfortunately, this lock is not a very well manufactured lock. And uh, two of the sliders actually don't have to be moved at all. Uh, they're already in the correct position. That would be slider number four and slider number two. The only two sliders that have to be manipulated are, are slider number one and number three. So once again, I'm just going through the pin stack, trying to find any binders going back and forth rather quickly. Normally, in a lot of locks, I can call out the pins as I'm hitting them. In this one, there's nine pins. If I slowed down a bit, I could probably figure out where I am within the lock, but there's really no point when you have so many pins and you're really just finding a, finding a binder So I'm on the right side of the keyway. You'll, you'll see me every once in a while kind of bumping into, uh, into those sliders with my pick, but they'll reset themselves. And the left side. Yep, a little movement there. really just a game of perseverance at this point. It's a game of where are you, Mr. Binder? Everything's looking pretty springy over here. So at this point, I'm going to go for the sidebar and the side pin. So four is springy, three is set, two is springy, and one, uh, it's kind of springy set. That was a number 10 multi-pick. And so now I'm gonna go back and use the number six, going back through the key pins, trying to find a binder. There's something that's hung up there. like we're getting pretty close though. There's three different types of uh, these Yale Superior locks. Uh, basically the difference is the amount of dimple uh, pins in each lock. Uh, this one has nine, it's the full. There's one that has seven and the short has only five.
one more element somewhere. It's getting super close. Doing a little resistance in that area. Yeah, there we go. Got it open. Beautiful. So that is the Yale Superior open. Great. All right. I hate gutting this lock, but let's do this. Get out of the vise. You can see my camera set up right there in the back. And let's keep it in frame. I've gutted this lock several times and I always manage to mangle a spring, lose a driver, something goes wrong. Get that camera in a good position. It'll zoom in. All right, so it's picked and close, key in, and let's get that follower. So I got my finger on the bottom to grab that sidebar as it's coming out. And miraculously, I did not break or lose anything yet. So there goes the sidebar. And there's two little springs in there. Tease those out. That's number one. That's spring number two. All right. That's number nine, eight, seven, six, five. Oh, where are you going, sir? Get back into position. Three. Two and one. All right. Let's get those sliders out. Okay. That's number one. Slider number two. Slider number three, and number four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the dimples, the sliders, and the area for the sidebar. Let's put that aside. And let's get these drivers out. First driver is this spool driver and all the other drivers are going to be standard so that's just kind of placing them haphazardly <laughs> at this point two three springs and i'm just going to pull them all out really they're all standard uh, the only thing that is not standard in the remaining ones is there's a driver in position number nine that is a anti-bump driver. It's a little bit longer. Everything else is a standard driver pin. All right, move over. Let's get some room in there. And we're going to move that little spring to the side so we don't lose it. That's the anti-bump driver, and that's it. The rest are just little springs. All right, well, folks, that is the Yale Superior. Dimples, drivers, sliders, and sidebar. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the pick.